Dilations. It's a transformation that enlarges or reduces a figure by a scale factor. So a dilation makes a figure bigger or smaller. If you remember uh, from a couple chapters ago where we had figures like on a graph and we would reflect them, flip them over like an x-axis or y-axis or we'd move them around. Remember that? Okay. Dilations is like another thing Okay, where we do something similar to that. What we do is we make the figure larger or smaller based on a scale factor. Alright, write this down. So this is graph, okay, graph the dilation with a scale factor of a half. And it tells us the points here. It says J is at 2, 4, K is at 2, 6, M is at 8, 6, and N is at 8, 2. What we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to make a dilation with a scale factor of a half. All that means is I'm going to take the point J, which is at 2, 4, and I'm going to times each of those two coordinates, okay, I'm going to times the ordered pair by the scale factor. So I'm going to take 2, I'm going to times it by the scale factor, which is a half. I'm going to take 4 and times it by the scale factor, which is a half. This is going to give me J prime, the new J. So what is half of 2? One. It is 1. What is half of 4? Two. 2. So here's my new point. I put it at 1, 2. That's J prime right there. So let's do K. It's at 2, 6. So I take 2, I'm times it by a half. And I take 6, times it by a half. K prime is where? Someone raise your hand and tell me. Blaine? 1, 3. One, three. Half of 2 is 1, half of 6 is 3. So the new K is at 1, 3. Right there. So when you raise your hand, tell me where the M prime is going to be. Blaine? 4, three, four three. It is at 4, 3. Half of 8 is 4. Half of 6 is 3. So M prime is at 4, 3. Braden, where is M prime going to be? N prime. 4-1. Four, one. Four, one. He took 8 times a half and 2 times a half. We get 4-1. Alright, so I had J in the wrong spot. Okay, it should be right here at 1-2. Sorry. Yeah, I got Okay, so then we graph it. Does it look like that image? Yep. Does it just look like a smaller version of it? Does it look like this right here? <coughs> yes. yes, it does. Okay, what I did was when I put this up here, okay, when I did this on the computer, I made this, I made the computer give me half of it. Okay, I had it scaled by half. Is that the same size? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Okay, so this right here is just a reference to show you what half of it would be. Does everyone understand how to do it? All right, write this down. A triangle has vertices A at 1, negative 2, B at 0, 2, and C at negative 2, negative 1. Find the coordinates after a dilation with a scale factor of 2. So we're going to do the exact same thing we just did on the other one. We make A into A prime. We do that by taking each one of its coordinates and timesing it by the scale factor. So what is 1 times 2? Two. What is negative 2 times 2? Negative 4. Negative 4. So my A prime needs to be at 2, negative 4. Okay. Uh, B. My B prime, I take the B, the X coordinate of B, which is 0, I times it by 2. And I take the Y coordinate and times it by 2. What is 0 times 2? 
Zero. What is two times two? Four. So my B prime is at zero, four. C prime, I take my negative two from my X coordinate of C, I times it by two, that's the scale factor. What is negative two times two? Negative four. Negative four. What is negative one times two? Negative two. So I need to go to negative four, negative two. Oh, backwards, yep. And then we close it in because that's only three points. Does this look like it has been scaled twice the size of the small? Yeah, it does. Okay. That's all you do. R write this down. These are the rules for dilations. Scale factor. A dilation with a scale factor of K. Okay, so K is uh, any number. Okay, that when they say is a scale factor. We have a scale factor of a half. We have a scale factor of two. Okay. In enlargement, if K, our scale factor, is greater than 1. So if it's bigger than 1, it gets larger. As in the last problem we just did, the scale factor was 2. What happened to our picture? It got, it got bigger. A reduction is when K is less than 1. What happened when our scale factor was a half? It got smaller. It got smaller. The same as the original figure if K is equal to 1. It's not going to change. Okay. Write this down. It says find the scale factor. Now this is supposed to be length on dilation over length on the or, uh, origin, original. Sorry. So the line right here, just ignore it. It should it should be length on dilation over length on original. Okay. What we do is if it asks us to find the scale factor, it gives us the original picture and the dilation. Okay. What we do is we find the scale factor. Now I'm going to say this is the original, okay? The small one is the original. I'm going to say the big one is the the dilation. It's the new one. What I want to do is I want to find out how far across it is, okay? So I look right here. I'm going to say this is the point. This is the farthest point out. It's at three six. If I look on this other side. It's at 9.6. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's hard to see. Okay, It's at 9.6. How far across is this? Six. It is 6. What we do is we take the farthest point, we subtract it uh, from the closest point, which is 3. So 9 minus 3 is 6. That's the length on the dilation. Now the length on the original, Okay, we go down here. This is at 3.2. And this is at 1, 2. How long is the original? 2. Okay, because we take 3 minus 1, we get 2. So it says our scale factor is 6 over 2. What does that reduce down to? 3 over 1, which same thing as 3. So our scale factor is 3. Well, let's check it and see if it's right. What's 1 times 3? What's 2 times 3? What's 3 times 3? What's 2 times 3? 6. Does everyone see a pattern here? So that's how you find scale factor. You take the length on dilation over the length on the original. Okay? Any questions? Alright, here's your homework.